by a clamp. Pulling Sea Dog down to so only about 60 health before he gets anywhere near that flag. This leaves a lot of people wondering why did uh, etc. go ahead and make that substitution. So, yeah. I would imagine we might be seeing the reemergence of Viju here next map, and we have Shizzle with a flag pickup with 98 health and no armor, and it appears that FOJ is all the way spread out into the uh, middle of the map. Wow. Shizzle tries Viju's to rock ready jump. To cap here. taken down. There it is. Five to nothing. FOJ pouring it on, and at this pace, uh, we might even see etc. get capped out. That's a good point, yeah. But at the very least, we're going to see this go to one more map tonight, guys. Uh, so, you know, this is going to be crazy quick live action. We are not done. Right now, you've just got a lot of, uh, a lot of middle action going on. And ID with the flag again. And the blue flag is out, but is instantly returned by Clamp. And we have ID crossing the middle right now, coming into as high as he is escorted by to hang. Takes out Cedar with a nice mid-air rocket. And as soon as this fight comes back, we're going to see another score, which brings it to wow. six to nothing in, in favor of FOJ. Wow. Yeah, I have to say, uh, hats off to Clamp. I'm going to sit here and watch him for a minute because he is doing so much for his team, uh, keeping that flag uh, exactly where it needs to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, uh, he's done an amazing job. Um, I'm going to go on over to him right now and kind of look at him, his stats. He's got uh, three assists, uh, 13 defends, and six excellence. So uh, he's doing it in all areas. That uh, accompanying with only six deaths. Profuse is making an attack here. He's still got a little bit of regen left. He's up to 200 health. And uh, he's going to get a nice shaft on WN. Pulls him down. And now he's ready to go in for the kill. He grabs the flag. And uh, he's got a little bit of help from ID, and he's trying to get away here. Jones uh, getting a little bit of plasma into him. Um, with no armor, though, he's facing off against a pair of red guys. He's going to double back and uh, actually not uh, take one exit. He doubles back yet again. And he's trying to find the path of least resistance. No medkit for him. And he's moving across the center. He's been able to uh, go unnoticed. There's a rail there. Who got the rail? Uh, I think... I'm not sure it was a WN, but he's able to get the return. Very close uh, capture there. So two minutes, uh, almost two minutes even left. The score is 6-0, so this one clearly going to FOJ in a pretty, uh, I don't know the correct word, pretty uh, one-sided fashion, I guess you could say, as they've just simply uh, overtaken, etc. And yeah, we have another have to say, uh, touch there from DeHang. So, I mean, just the touches and the and the flag sequences, just one after another from FOJ. And so the, the question for me is, I mean, it seems like uh, V2 definitely played a, a pretty handed, uh, handedly solid role uh, for his team. If we see him come back in, I'm wondering how the third map's going to go. I'm wondering what the third map is. I was going to say, I'm wondering what the third map's going to be. Uh, the second map, uh, the first map, CTF2, uh, definitely warrants... Uh, a, a completely different play style than this, so uh, maybe each team is winning the map that favors uh, their play style most. So maybe in the last map we could see a Siberia or a if, uh, if that's even in the pool or a CTF3. The so, hang is on the uh, way out. He's almost through mid. He's knocked Shizm off. Can't quite pull him down, and there's a return. Yeah, with the one minute warning passed, we're definitely going to see uh, a tie game here. First map went pretty well to etc., but only uh, by a, a couple of caps, whereas we've seen one FOJ cap, just come out time. swinging. Yeah, a big wake up call for FOJ as they've completely uh, dominated this one. Uh, 6 0 right now with 30 seconds left, and if, if you look at the scoreboard at the offense of etc., uh, Schism and Sea Dog going uh, 30 and 65 and 25 and 70. So it's uh, it's almost like their offense e isn't even getting through mid before they're taken down. And here we're seeing Clamp OK once again, just ensuring that his flag does not leave the base. He finally gets killed, but uh, really impressive work from him tonight. He he came to play. We have ourselves a tie Absolutely. game, Absolutely. And there is the buzzer with a final score of six to nothing from 
or four FOJ. So heading on to a third map. So it's it's going to be interesting to see uh, how this process goes. If both teams throw a map out and the final is chosen, or how this is uh, how this is done. Yeah. And it'll be Dang, CTF three. CTF three. Oh yes. I CTF three, the uh, QuakeCon map from last year that was uh, has been since modified. And isn't really played a whole lot. Is a lot of teams play uh, uh, two and seven a whole lot now. So this should be a nice equal ground for both teams. Yeah. Um, I. What do you think about the modifications? I think that it uh, makes it um, a little bit more O friendly um, because you can. You have so many different ways to get out of the base. Uh, I would. I would think so. If, if you've got a good flag runner that has good speed and. Uh, is patient. You can definitely, definitely throw some defenses a, a big loop on this. So, uh, I, I think with that being said, the offensive strength, the offensive strength of uh, FLJ might have the advantage early on. Yeah, we shall see. All right, I just uh, took a moment to make sure all my video stuff was set as we go into this uh, third round tonight, guys. Uh, we've seen sudden death. We've seen. Um, pretty one-sided uh, footwork there by FOJ on Ironworks, and now we're going to see a little bit of a stronghold. Um, what we have not seen, though, is a return of Viju, so Sea Dog will remain in for etc. at least for the moment. Hey guys, hey guys, Matchcom's here. Ooh, sweet. Matt. Yes, I am. How's it going, guys? Buddy. It's great to see you. Well, I was hoping I could showcast a little here tonight if you guys aren't uh, yeah, keen on it. Yeah, we've had, uh, Flasher has had a few uh, technical issues tonight, so we've had uh, Ice Lore hop in and, uh, and sort of do a little stand-in shoutcast for us, and uh, I, I love the commentary I'm hearing from him. Alright, I got a question here. Who are the players that you'd be watching out for, watching out for, for both teams here? Honestly, uh, O-Wise. Uh, we've seen some amazing things by ID and the hang. Um, I, they've been phenomenal. Um, but uh, Perfuse uh, has had quite a few moments himself tonight. Uh, Clamp has just been amazing on defense. Um, he seems almost unstoppable in a way. Uh, over on etc., um, Jones really shown, I thought, uh, on uh, Troubled Waters uh, in that mid. And uh, and and WN and and Viju, I thought was also they were pretty key there. So uh, without Viju though, for et cetera though, it, it seems like they've lost a, a step. And I'm wondering if they're gonna be able to get it back with the new battleground of uh, the stronghold here. Red flag yeah, this map it's. The O is really key. I mean, it's usually always comes down to the defensive stalemate. So, um, it's really going to be interesting to see like how many people they put on offense. Usually, teams kind of break it up half and half. But if you can get a good like three-man push, a lot of the times that's what it takes to break through a defense. Oh, VG is Godly coming back is saying, in one uh, sec. Sea Dog says, "Oh my." Ooh. Apparently, Supposedly there were he was having some cluster issues there as well. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, in my opinion, um, since we're going to see a lot of quad uh, over regen, whereas we just saw regen last map, um, you know, where quad can really just totally make or break uh, a, a defensive stalemate. Um, I, I think it's going to be all about power up control. Uh, I think we've seen a lot of. Um, it seemed like last map was uh, mostly about speed and being able to get out unnoticed. We saw that happen quite a few times there. Uh, in FOJ's favor as they racked up uh, six caps. Um, but this time around, I think we're going to see a little bit more of uh, a little bit more of the measured uh, offensive pushes, I would say, um, rather than. I think we'll see a lot of uh, mixed styles. Plus, uh, for those that don't know much about how CTF3's power up system works, uh, it's a di at times it's a different uh, power up. I forget how it goes, but it alternates between quad and uh, Mega Health. And while a Mega Health may seem uh, pale in comparison to a quad damage, uh, this is a map that uh, warrants uh, really stealthy flag running. So if you can get someone in, take down a flag defender and get a Mega Health, 
and somehow managed to get through the base of the 